Hey everybody, we're back with chess. It, it, that was the fastest video start to uh, D4 play of all time. If you guys will just cut me some slack here, I'm doing the martial defense real quick. I've got to use my full brain power because I'm, I'm doing the martial defense. I just want you to know that I'm presently engaging in a little something called the martial defense. This is, um, they don't have a name for this one yet, which is probably a bad sign. <laughs> Say that's a, an indication that we're probably not overjoyed um, with the way that this looks right now. I pushed it one too far. That's an easy take. It's an easy, I, I meant to go to E6, which is also probably pretty bad. Also probably pretty bad. How's that for a fee and kettle? Pretty good. You can't move this guy, though. What if I do this? I had to protect this first, but then what if I do that? Like, what if you're like, man, I'm going to do something, and then I do this? <laughs> I'd, okay. I, that was one thing that I was considering that you could have done. But then what if I do that? Then you still got to respond to this. You still got to respond to that. You don't want to play something like this. You don't want to play something like that. Just hit you with one of those. And then... That actually is workable. I'll give you that one. That one's workable. Um, I think we want to do something like this. And we want to actually resolve the pressure. This is great, but... Oh, crap. Wait, no, it's fine. It's completely fine. That's a miscalculation. <laughs> you do get my queen, but by the time you do, I've gotten a little bit more. Well, let's start by threatening this pawn. We're only up by three. We were not even threatening that pawn. I would like to say thank you. Because I... Didn't know that's where that was going. Okay, I'm gonna we, we're gonna go for the open file, which is what we should have done in the first place. At some point, we want to activate a bishop. You know, I'm not that concerned about this. I'm just gonna move over. If you want to trade rooks, I would I would be over the moon right now. If you want to trade a bishop for a knight, I would be over the moon right now. I don't think you do, but you might. Maybe you do. Maybe I maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been suggested. Going there. Okay, well, I'd like to stop your knight from going here. It's not, not that concerned, I think. Try something like this. Okay, I, I remain at most mildly concerned with how this is going. I'm going to do something like this. You forked me. It's a good move. It's a good move. I got to hand it to you. You brought yourself right back into the game. You've taken this rook. I take this pawn. You take that. What is this? You took my knight? I'm taking your bishop then. <laughs> or you took my bishop? I'm taking... You took my rook! What am I doing? <laughs> I resign. All right, that was not good chess. That's a situation... You should, you should do the calculation on that. Because even after we lost the rook for the knight, it would have been fine. I was just unwilling to... I was too prideful, quite frankly. I was unwilling to give it up. Instead, I thought I'll just keep pushing the issue and we'll see how this shakes out. This is the three knights game with the Petrov defense. Familiar? Got it memorized? Probably not, because I don't either, honestly. Okay, so... And a, yeah, okay, I take. I'm up by a knight. You take. We're equal. No, you're up by a rook. I'm up by a bishop. You take, we're equal. How do I feel about that? Not good. In that case, let's fall back. Just fall back. No reason not to. We got to protect this pawn. If you want to double tap it, go ahead. They're not going to double tap it. You know they're not going to double tap it. So let's... 
protect this pawn, threaten this piece. I do want to make, I did want to make the push. Where are you going after this? Same spot, same spot that irritate me. I don't know. I'm unfrightened. Start me here. You move over here, I'm sure. It's, it's a guarantee. It's on site. They take with the other... Yeah, you know what? Neither of our rooks were doing anything until a second ago anyway. Let's castle queenside and try to get a, a genuine pawn push going here. Fair enough. I still like that I have a bishop. I'm not going to apologize for having a bishop. If that's what you think is going to happen here. Okay, I actually like this. I feel like my king size is a little bit, or my now my king side, I guess, is a little stronger than it used to be. Would you would you plus two or minus two this? Okay, step one, right here. Step two, take control of the open file. Step three, break the wrist, walk away. Step four, maybe read a book or two on on chess. <laughs> Try to figure out what I've been missing about this game. I knew that was coming. I don't know where you're going next. And that's, that's the scary thought. Maybe you're going here. Yeah, okay. In which case we follow up with something like this. Protects where you're threatening and also threatens this. Now you move back here, move back there. Okay. And we say, okay, no, no problem. Now we have control of the open file. Would you agree or disagree with this? I think my queen can do more damage. I'm staying in here. I know you're going to push because it's just, it's just what you do. We do have a time problem. We, we do also have this. Excuse me. Do also have this now, but do we even want that? I don't know. Here's something I'll tell you, though. Do I want to be in here or do I want to have a better chance to get away? It's a good question. I don't have an answer for you, so I'm just going to put some pressure on you because <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but we, we've given up a lot to, to get to this space. If, yeah, okay, I see the problem. Something like this. Close down this diagonal. We got issues. But if you got an issue, here's a tissue, okay? Down 40 seconds. We really need to move faster. Good job. Okay, now, now we've got an advantage on this pawn. Where are you going? You're going here. Then I'm going here. Protecting the en passant gambit. Right, okay. Great move. Just didn't even, didn't even come close to seeing it coming. Now I've, I, you go here with check. You take this. I'm, it's basically, this is resignable. I can't stop your pawn from getting to the end. We, we got to resign that one, and that's okay. Let, wait for the engine. 14. Yeah, that's... <laughs> 14 with the, di with the time disadvantage, I would say resignable. We're probably... I mean, I, you know, I haven't been the best at looking at the comments because the comments haven't always been the best at writing to me. We're probably getting some comments that are like, stop resigning so much. Ah, once a game reaches like its kind of logical conclusion, I'm like, we might as well... I don't, think it breed, I don't think it breeds a bad habit, necessarily. I know what Levy said. At the same time, I'm not saying I know more about chess than an international master. That would be hubris. I refuse to, refuse to acknowledge that. However, all I'm saying is it's more fun to play a game where you think you have a chance of winning. As a result... I would rather, I, I would love for you to take this, by the way. As a result, I would rather play more games where it's like tactically fun. You could put me in check, but, but to what, for what purpose? You and what army? You and that army. Okay, I see now. How about one of these? I would rather play more games where it's like, I, I think you learn more when you're not just fighting back from a, a losing position. You know, you, you learn tactics and stuff like that. 
But then there is a part of me that says, learn more for what purpose? And you know what? I suppose there's some truth to that. What's the purpose of trying to learn more in chess? Who am I trying to kid? I'm not trying to become the, the next grandmaster. But in that case, I guess we're absolutely justified to just do what we think is the most fun to begin with. I've, I've, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, get off of my diagonal. I don't know what I'm doing. Put some pressure on him, man. It's going to get ready to take that. Oh, you piece of junk. <laughs> you think you're the only person who can get down behind the diagonals? No, 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 no. You push one more. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I, this is a horrible mistake. We should not be here. This is a very scary move for me. That's not that bad. I think I backed this up just a little bit. I, I, I would definitely prefer to be in White's position here, even with the bishop lockdown. And now they can't play that either, so I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about actually this, this move right here. I think this move was actually kind of good for us. What about Dunka Dunka? You know, obviously there's this, but also just the knight being able to exert some power. Still don't think we want to be back there, though. Should be careful. Oh, my pawn. That's not being careful at all. Okay, now they can't take this pawn, though. We'll take this, we'll take this right here. They still, okay, now they could take the, no, they still can't take the pawn. If they can't take the pawn, let's, let's keep tempting them with the pawn. They could take this pawn, though. Okay, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? Knight's in a very powerful place now. Okay, still go here. Still threaten the bishop. They, they, don't, they probably don't consider it a threat. And you know what? That's the saddest part of all. Here's something that's interesting. What if we take and then basically say, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Now your bishop or your, your rook is doing a what? Oh, not, nothing at all. Oh, or are they? <laughs> okay, we have to be careful. This, we can't take this pawn because the we, we, we get a pawn out of this. We do get a pawn out of this if we want it. We do. We get the pass pawn. They move, they move there. Okay, if you're just going to move there right off the bat, then I'm taking... Uh, I resign. <laughs> I forgot about the part where we have to take their bishop first because it's covering the pawn. Okay. Some pretty, like, look, it, it's simply the truth. I didn't know why we were playing well last week, and I don't know why we're playing badly now. It's just the, it's the ebb and the flow of, of chess, man. It, like, it just is what it is. I think I like this well enough. I could very well be wrong. I'll, I'll take that trade. I'll take that trade any day of the week. Hey, anybody up trading all day pieces away or just me? Anybody up overextending themselves for no reason or just me? Uh, we take. Okay, you knew that was coming. I prefer my pawn structure. I would love if you did this. Just because this is where I want to be to begin with. Who's, who's better in this position? It's a, it's a question for the ages. Man is asked, he's better. <laughs> Man has asked himself this question since, since time immemorial. Stay on it. Keep their heads ringing. That's a pawn. I still, considering we're, we're tied, we're not actually tied, by the way. Because if he takes this, he's up a pawn. But if he takes that, I'm up a rook. Mm, what a delightfully devilish Seymour. 
he took it with the queen, he would have been fine. But it's three minute chess. Mistakes will happen. I mean, I would. I think I would definitely prefer it to be the white pieces here. But I could be wrong. It's been suggested that I don't fully know what I'm talking about when it comes to chess endgames. Um, I hate to let Yasser Sirawan down. I had that goaded chess endgames book as a, as a child. This is looking pretty bad. <laughs> I need to get an opportunity to get my king closer to put some threats on this. We can't let them put me in check with it, though, now that I look at it. It's a very good point. We gotta like approach it up here. Fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't. I didn't think that one through. How are we doing this? Are we doing this? We're not. We're doing this. Okay. Now I'm not sure. Honestly, now I. I think that maybe. I'm happy where I am. I think maybe I'm I'm the happier in this situation. No. Nope. I would say I would say I'd rather be the white pieces again. <laughs> He's going to have a one pawn advantage. It's about to be more than a pawn advantage. It's not resignable, though. I'll admit, the worst part of resigning a bunch is that now, anytime I get into a slightly bad position, I'm like, oh, I'll just resign. Ah! I resign? <laughs> My chess pieces! My pieces! I resign? It's, it's, I know how it looks. It's unwinnable. It's on, it is. Wait, wait for the analysis. We're down by, we're down by five. We're down by five. It's so, here, we've been playing some sloppy chess. You know what we need to get ourselves back into it? We definitely need to close Sicilian with the traditional line. I'm playing some lazy chess. That's my number one criticism of myself is that the chess right now is lazy. I'm not evaluating my opponent's positions. I'm merely, I'm just sending them. I'm just saying this piece looks, this move looks good for me, and I'm sending it. This is where you want to puzzle it out. Again, I was playing on autopilot. We got equivalent material, but I was going to say, maybe you want to move your knight first. Maybe you don't. I think I'd rather take like this. This looks better. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know why you would do that. And that's what's got me scared. I'm so confused because they like auto... They, they pre-moved the... Me taking of their piece. They take with the queen. That was a lazy move. Just lazy. Laziness all around. I think we want to do... For now, I'd love to just put some... I mean, we could protect this. It's probably a smart idea first. But then... I do want to... Threaten this pawn. I, I would like... Well, it's pawn for pawn. It's pawn ball? No, it's not. It's not, because if you take this pawn, I put you in check, I win your bishop. Because I got the rook protecting this pawn as well. Hold on. He's back, baby! <laughs> One game that isn't a complete disaster. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. That's why we play the closed Sicilian in this household. Because it's the opening with which I'm most comfortable with. Because I saw a streamer play it one time. Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky line you found yourself in here. This is the bird's defense. Alfred Hitchcock would never. This is not hater tech. I'm just here to say, I feel like all of your pieces are in like the worst positions they could be in. I don't know. Like maybe that strikes you as hater tech. It's not what I'm trying. To, I'm not trying to be a hater. 
I'm just saying, like, I, I've never heard of this bird's opening before. Maybe, maybe I said I wasn't being a hater. Everything that came out of my mouth was, was hate. <laughs> so maybe you got me on that one, okay? Maybe I was trying to be a hater. I've been placed into the realm of check. I see. I see. I see what you got going on here. And you know what? I refuse to let you do it. If I do this, they take this. So I, you know what? King E2. Well, you know what we call that? The patrician's way of castling. It's a patrician's castle. And then... I'm only up by two. But would I be okay creating a queen swap here? We can't take here. Like, don't be a fool. Would I be okay swapping queens? Probably. But I'd rather... Oh, I literally did the thing I said I wasn't going to do. What's wrong with me? I've taken psychic damage from myself. There's no way this makes sense. On it, just <laughs> fall back, fall back, fall back. I'm I'm running out of time too. It's it's a it's a disaster, man. Fall back. What, now two of your pieces are under attack. What have you done? You got a little you got a little too greedy. I but now okay, guess what? <laughs> Sorry. It never ends. You think I'm gonna let you weasel out of it like that? I am. I am gonna let you weasel out of it like that. I didn't know you could take that piece, alright? Why do you hate me so much? Fine, fine. And now we're like, we're equal, right? <laughs> yeah, we're equal, but look at how close to the center my king is. <laughs> oh, crap! What? Okay, I resign. I gotta hand it to you. You played an amazing game there, especially after all those hater comments I made. You could have easily folded, but you didn't. Wait, I hate this, right? Is this, is this the opening I always hate and immediately try to... Um, Trade as much as possible. This sounds like me. I work on a very simple principle. If you have the opportunity to threaten your opponent's queen, you should take it in all circumstances. And I would say so far, business is booming. I would still say biz. Oh, <laughs> I gotta learn an opening, dude. No, I don't. Never. Wouldn't be caught dead learning an opening. Warriors don't read books. Okay, it's dangerous. It's dangerous for me. I wouldn't dispute the danger level here. Feels a little bit less dangerous now. I'm up by two. Why do so many games uh, today end up in this... <laughs> you just lost... Oh, no, no, no. You can move it back. Why do so many games today end up in, in this position <laughs> where, like, it's move... Uh, all right. Oh, that's horrible. I'm stupid. Now you put me in check. But guess what? You know what we call this? The Patrician's Kingside Castle. And then we start trading pieces. It's like move six, but my, my king is like completely exposed. It's, it's, it's out. And not the one who's out, Gabi, out of his mind. You know why? Because I'm playing instinctual chess. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm inclined to say, based on today's performance, mm, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Really love the coverage we're getting on this rook here. Okay, you're going to put me in check, presumably. No, no check. And no country for old men. Do you want to you wanna push me? That's fine. I do. This knight is basically useless. 
Don't fall behind on time. We have to get our knight involved. In order for this to make sense, we have to get our knight involved. My rook. My rook, my rook. I mean, they have to get their rook involved. Don't get me wrong. So we do something like this. We do something like this. And then I think this is a cheeky checkmate attempt if they go here. Ah, ah, okay. Understandable. We have to take. I think. There's still good plays here. I don't mind if they take that. I do mind if they take this. I don't mind that. Extremely, I am very good at chess voice. This feels rather drawerish. Extremely, never mind voice. I am going to win this game. Because now, because of that, I can now move my rook. Now you have to move over here to protect this pawn. Okay, that would also be fine. Okay, I suppose, but you know what? Perhaps I was a little hasty. You don't want to trade. I also don't want you to trade. Because <laughs> I think this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> well, hold on. We should have, we should have the ability to, to do things on our terms. I think we already, I think that just broke through for us. 44 seconds left. I think we got this. King to here is next, like no matter what. That's a tough game, man. People are playing. Am I stupider today or are people playing better? I think it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Wednesday is well known as the peak day for chess intelligence. It's been studied by some of the most reputable journals, scientists from Mad Magazine and the Onion Institute. Don't abandon the game, though. It, like, it's just the generation we're raising these days. At least I, I click the resign button. I probably click it a little too fast, but you don't just like make someone wait until the game is over. That's, that's, that's little league stuff, man. It's just look, we're both bad. We don't have to do like a rage quit on, on to that level. Please tell me. I, I, I hope that you had to go somewhere. I hope you're not sitting at home going, ha ha, I made him wait 40 seconds. Because that's, that's, I just couldn't live with that. Because clearly you're old enough to drive. And to have that mentality as someone who's about to be an adult or maybe an adult, I just, it, it just makes you think about the world we're in. Anyway, that time I didn't mean to be a hater. <laughs> it was a good game, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And you did it to a man with a baby as his avatar. That's the, the, the greatest indignity of all. But either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.